The revolution is lost. I am the holder of the revolution. Go to a crossroads, any crossroads. You must go there alone and in the dark of night. Have a good look around. Check once, twice, even thrice for anyone else's presence. There must not be any other distractions, and there certainly must not be any other people. Once you are sure of the fact that you are completely alone, sit down. Have yet another good look around, but this time simply observe. I cannot tell you whether the sky will be filled with stars, or black as soot, or exactly what creatures may scurry in the dark around you, or what archaic monuments you may find yourself facing. These features depend on the crossroads you have chosen. After having carefully examined your surroundings, close your eyes and listen. Pay attention to the natural ambience filling the air, the sounds that you don't notice until you make an effort to pay attention to them. Listen to them closely and make your best effort to determine their identities. Once you have found the origin of each and every sound, you must listen again for something more. It will be a faint tune, coming from a flute, maybe, or a violin, or someone humming or singing under his breath. Once you are sure you can hear it, open your eyes. Follow the melody. It will lead you down one of the crossroads paths. It will be a long walk, but do not give up. You will eventually come to a large gate, but if you were to go beyond it, it would not hinder you at all. The gate itself is broken, the iron gnarled as if bent by desperate hands and wild flames. You may stand here gazing at it for a few moments, if you wish. As impressive as the gate may once have been, there is no need to pass through it now. Instead, when you are ready, you may turn around and find me. Once we have met, you may ask me anything you wish. Of course, I can't guarantee that I will answer you, or that you will like the answer I have to give. I suggest that you ask about the one thing that has been stewing in my mind for centuries. The fate of the revolution. It is the best use of our time, I think. As with many answers, this is one that begins with a story. A story of what once was, and of how things are now, and why this came to be so. Once there was a seeker, not unlike you, perhaps. He was sly, observant, and had a zeal for the unknown that is familiar to all seekers. What made him different was the apparent ease with which he made his acquisitions. This seeker took to finding objects as easily as though it were his natural, or perhaps unnatural, born talent, or as if the fates had decreed that he would be the one to unite the objects and bring about the greatest revolution of all. His relentless search for objects drove him to my door, and of course I let him in. His power and promise intrigued me, and for a time I believed he was the right person to bring about my revolution. And so it was, I lent him my object. Objects change people. Even a seeker who acquires just one object is no longer the man he used to be. Although the journey to acquiring such an object changes a man significantly especially the first. It is the object itself that ultimately continues to change the seeker. Every single object has its own mark, its own peculiarity that it will instill on all those seekers who touch it. Now imagine a seeker who earned hundreds. Even one as hardened as Legion cannot avoid their influence. I had seen the change the objects had wrought in him, even when I first met him. After he left me, he acquired yet more objects and changed further still. His search for objects became more hurried, frantic almost, 
as if all his newfound power had made him more greedy. He began to collect the objects, not for the sake of reuniting them, but to gain their power. He was not going to bring about the reunion. He had betrayed me. When he vanished, I do not believe that he simply happened to fail in some holder's trial one day. That wouldn't be like him. I think he holed himself up somewhere, perhaps to hide from the clutches of an enemy, or to sit and gloat over his power, now locked safely away. Whatever the reason, it's certainly not to bring about the revolution. No one can do that now he and his objects are locked away, perhaps forever. Such is the fate of my revolution. It is lost. I now have a question to ask of you. Are you willing to bring the revolution back? It may be easier than you think. Legion lost the revolution when he betrayed me. Yet you will still have to confront him eventually to bring it about. He still has the other 1,999 objects, and you must unite them all to bring about the revolution. Now, are you willing to carry my object in his stead? It is 2220 of 2538. Bring forth the revolution, and you will have my support.